A portion of this video is sponsored by Google Play. Hey guys, we have a super exciting Make It Real plan for today. Spider-Man's Web Slingers. I think this is probably one of the most requested projects we've ever seen on YouTube. And to help us out, JT's coming all the way from South Africa for a second Hacksmith internship. Made it. Good to see you, James. Good to see you too, JT. It's cold out there. Long walk. Yeah, well, Africa. you know, it is Canada. Yeah, that's true. So you got one month to make Spider-Man's Web Slingers. You already did a great job with okay. the Just Cause Grappler. Okay. Um, I think we can use some of the design principles that you used on that yes. to make actual working Spider-Man Web Slingers and we'll actually be able to swing from the rafters at the shop. Think you can do it? I can. You know what? I've always wanted to do that. So, sounds perfect. Awesome. Let's get to it. Sure. This portion of the video is sponsored by Google Play. Might and Magic Heroes Era of Chaos is available on Google Play. It's a super fun RPG game where you join Queen Catherine and Iron Fist on a quest to restore the kingdom of Arathia. With a massive story campaign, you explore a huge world, grow your army, and conquer the lands. Collect mythical heroes with unique powers and upgrade over 40 plus different troops and creatures. Its bright and colorful graphics are anime inspired and immerses you in a fantastic world. Plus, with the PvP duels, you can challenge other people in real time. My favorite part is that you need strategy to win the fight. By placing your troops in the right position can mean the difference between glory and failure. Try it out today by downloading on Google Play. There are links in the description below. Big thank you to Google Play for sponsoring this portion of the video. So one of the main challenges in making Spider-Man real is that you have to be able to release the webs while they're under huge amounts of tension. Now instead of designing a mechanism, I thought I would use an archery release. I was a little skeptical if it'd hold my weight, so we decided to put it to the test. All right, let's swing bigger. You touch it. Well, and in the it final goes. design. Literally just snaps under 150 pound load. Let's get some of that rope and use this and tie it around instead. Think it'll hold? I don't know. So that was not really according to plan, winded me a lot, hopefully my knee's okay. Um, in retrospect that should have been a bit more expected, but oh well. Now I just need to make sure the next design doesn't let that happen. So I'm going to use this instead. It's called a snap shackle. They use them on sailing boats to be able to release under high loads and it's just a lot stronger and more reliable than the archery release. Now I'm just going to need to design and build a mount to go on my wrist. Let's go do it. I'll just use a servo motor here to be able to electronically actuate the pin on the snap shackle. So in the comics and movies, Spider-Man's webs can stick to anything with infinite strength, but since that's not possible, we're going to use grappling hooks instead. However, grappling hooks can be big and heavy and kind of dangerous if they fall and hit you in the head. So I've designed something different. I don't know if anyone's ever built something like this before, but what I've made is a specially designed grappling hook that just fastens to its own string. This means it's going to be safer as well as smaller and lighter. What I've done is I've built three of them and an overhead bar here, and we're just going to test out which one's the best. Ah, 
So it looks like this one is our winner. Didn't work every time, unfortunately, but I was still impressed how often it did. Now all I've got to do is make it out of stainless tube so we can launch it out of our Spider-Man gun. So now we've got these cool grappling hooks, we need to make some barrels to fire them off of. James gave me an amazing fancy solenoid valve, so I've made a little test gun to see how well it's going to work. It's a barrel welded to a nut, tightened to an adapter that I put in the valve, and then a nice wooden handle, a battery that activates the solenoid that opens the valve. So let's test it out on Safety Chicken. Right, so now we've loaded our cartridge. We'll use this test grappling hook I made with no hooks and uh, see how well it works. Safety Chicken, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. So, to keep the wrist launchers as light and streamlined as possible, I decided to put as many components as I could onto a backpack. Now the whole thing runs on compressed air, and this goes into a valve assembly I made, which fits into the backpack like so. This splits the high pressure air into four separate streams, and these valves block the air until you put current across the solenoid here which will open up a piston and allow air to rush through to the barrel of the wrist launcher. These are the electronics and the smarts of the project. You plug in a battery here, and that powers the solenoids here with the valves, as well as the servo motors here. It also powers a regulator, which takes the voltage down to a level that's safe enough for the processors to use. The processors are the logic of everything. They primarily control the shooting and releasing, so that when you shoot the first time, it'll open up valve number one to shoot the first hook, and when you shoot again, it will then shoot the second hook. It does this by sending signals through these pins here, and it does it when you give it signals through these wires here. The signals are sent by this glove that I made right here. You plug it into the processor. This allows you to control the web shooters using hand signals. So by bridging any two of these contacts that I've made on the glove, such as the classic Spider-Man hand gesture, you're sending a signal to the microcontroller to fire the launcher. And once everything else is assembled, you cover it all up with my custom Spider-JT logo. To see exactly how JT's electronics work, check out our circuit diagram on maker.io. All right, so last time when JT fell, wasn't that safe? Let's try it again, this time with mats. Ah, this is sweet. JT, you gotta try this. So unfortunately, at the last minute, we just run into some problems that I can't solve in my time left here. So we're gonna do a paired back test with just two hooks, see if I can swing once, shoot the other one, and get it to hook all in one go. Not quite. Would you mind uh, reloading that for me? There we go. Okay. Good one. <laughs> Almost. Well, we'll call it a day. That was a bit of excitement. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Well, I guess I live here forever now. All right, so that was freaking awesome. One of our most, most commented fan requests is to make Spider-Man web slingers. And as you saw in this video so far, it is not a simple task. JT's been working on it for about a month now, his entire internship here, and we got so close yeah. to making it work. So much of it worked flawlessly, and then just a few small things ended up causing big headaches, but if I had a little longer, it could be so much better. On the plus side, there are a few de design uh, revisements that we can do to hopefully get rid of those issues and make it working. Either way, JT is going to be taking these parts back home with him to South Africa, 
and you can follow him on his channel, Built IRL, to see the future of this project. Yeah. We're still going to use this one and hopefully get two swings in later on in this video. But we gotta get to the airport. Yeah, I'm literally leaving in like three hours, so. Okay. Mm, I probably want to change out. Security's no, no, not gonna yeah, like we this. Gotta go right now. Security's yeah, gonna be we mad. Gotta go right now. Okay. We gotta go. As you saw at the end of JT's test, he was stuck hanging. Well, I guess I live here forever now. The release mechanism wasn't actually working that well. It turns out once this is under load, when you're actually hanging off of it, it makes it much harder to actually release. And I won't be able to release either because it's not working. <laughs> so that's what we're going to work on fixing. And then we're going to see if we can do two web shots, two swings and a release. Now, since we're only going for one swing, we don't actually need both of these quick releases anymore. So, what I think the easiest solution to get us to a working test would be we remove one of the linkages and then we can use the full range of motion at a closer point, which means the servo motor will have more torque to open just one of these instead of opening two. So we can actually swing like Spider-Man. All right, so we've got a pile of weights here to simulate JT's weight and we've got our revised uh, servo string. So let's test it out. Oh boy, 160 pound lift. Oh my, I feel weak. Huh, my knock came out. <laughs> and my string broke. All right, that didn't quite work so well, so we've done a few more changes. We actually added a brass fitting over the bolt to reduce the friction in the rope. So, let's try it again. Holds the weight, no problem. Three, two, one. Sweet. All right, let's try that again to make sure it just wasn't a fluke. Sweet. All right, third time's the charm. If it works, I'll be ready to swing from this thing. Sweet. Let's test it out for real this time. <clears throat> I've hooked the first beam, which means it's time to swing for the first time. JT, if you're watching this, I really hope this works. <laughs> That was freaking awesome, but anyone can swing once. If you really want to be Spider-Man, you've got to be able to swing multiple times before letting go. Okay, this is a little unnerving, but I'm hanging from two webs. The next step is to release my right hand, and I'm gonna swing and then release with my other hand, even though my glove has moved. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoop! One more swing. Spider-Man. All right. So swinging like Spider-Man is just as hard as it looks. Uh, everything being said, that was pretty cool. I did literally hang from two webs and I was kind of able to swing. Uh, big thank you to Pursuit OCR for providing these awesome air mattresses because otherwise I definitely would have broken something. If you guys want to see this project continue, check out JT's channel, Built IRL, because I'm not touching this thing again. <laughs>